greetings everybody in this session we will be solving the graded assignment of week 4 computational thinking so let us start this without making any late further this is the part 1 video which is which will be comprising only a few questions there will be a separate part 2 video as well for that you will have to pay some uh, subscription charges in order to access all the perks so let's get started guys so this is the first question Consider the Olympics data set. The processor do something. What does it do? It captures the number of pairs of winners. Okay. It captures the number of pairs of winners with same nationality and gender. That means they must be from same nation or they must be from same country. And this is the first criteria. And also the second criteria is the gender should be same. Remember, it is end gender, but not or gender. Therefore, therefore, there must be an end operator in between both of them. So, this is first interpretation or the understanding that we need to develop from. So, let us see what we should place. Count is zero, while table one has more rows. Count is equal to count plus do something x comma y. So this is what is empty here. We will have to fill that out. So let's get into this question. In the question, they mentioned that it must be from same nationality and they must be of same gender, right? So here, if that is a perfect match, then we should return one, right? In order to increment the value of count, we will have to return one, but not zero. So, for a suitable match, we should return 1. Here, we are returning 1. Okay. Even here, we are returning 1. This is a false option because it is an OR operator. C is a mistake. And even D is also a mistake. Because there is an OR operator. It must be an end operator, right? Therefore, let us sort out the best of two options. A, here, the nationality is same. Okay. Gender is also same. Okay. Return 1. A is the correct answer. Else return 0. If any of if either of them is a false or if both of them are false, then we'll be returning a 0, which doesn't take any effect on the value of count. Right. So option A is the correct answer for question number 1. Now going down to question number 2. Identify the mistakes this is what it is a mistake recognition question number of pairs of books again it is a pair of book that means x will be compared with y a will be compared with b like that right which uh, which both either it is here it is mentioned to be either have the same gender it is an or operator that means any one can be true either of them can be a true these are the possible combinations which will result in the final answer to be true count is zero so let us see the lines which we have to check for line 3 is line 3 mistake no line 3 is not a mistake <coughs> line 5 while table 2 has more rows yes <coughs> line 5 is a mistake because we will have to check for table 1 right here we are picking a card from table 1 in the line 6 that means we must check whether table 1 is empty or not in the line 5 therefore line 5 is a mistake error in line 5 ok so now coming down to the next line which is line 10 oh my god yeah line 10 move all rows from table 3 to table 1 hmm. yes line 10 it is also not a mistake Procedure do something a comma b 
line 13 error in line 13 let us check for that here there is an error because we were told about either of them that means it can be an or operator not it can be it should be an or operator whereas here it is an and operator <coughs> therefore line 13 is also a mistake so far we have seen the mistakes at line 10 and line 13 not that not 10 sorry uh, line 5 right and line 13 and even line 14 is also a mistake because we should written 1 here but not 0 these got interchanged so there are three errors in this question which is line 5 line 5 line 13 line 14 are the mistakes here so this is the second question where the options are b d and e the following pseudo code is executed using words table assume that the procedure do something what does do something do it will take table as parameter and return the number of words then what will be the values of a and b the values of a and b will be for that we will have to see what uh, a and b do a is something other than the return value of do something table 2 and b is do something table 3 so what does table 2 and table 3 contain these are two separate tables let us see what those contain table 2 contains those words which are having their letter count in the range 1 to 5 and table 3 contains that words whose letter count is in the range 6 to 11 so what does a and b uh, in both in combination give you it is definitely not the same because no way there is going to be there is no way going to be a common point because it stopped at 5 and started at 6 if it was 1 to 5 and 5 to 11 then we can tell that they must be a combination of uh, those words which are having letter count 5 but it is not like that right so what should we do it is something other than number of words with two different sets of letter count it is two different set right table 2 is having all those words which are having letter count from 1 to 5 and table 3 is from 6 to 11 therefore they constitute two different set this is set A set B so option D is the correct answer 4 will be uploaded in the last the following pseudo code is, is executed using scores data set what will C represent at the end of execution c is 0 initially move x to table 2 here we are doing we are taking x for comparison and then if find pair x comma y so what are we checking here we are checking for equal scores right x and y are two students and initially it is if if they have all the scores to be same then it will be a false if if they have a score in any of if they have a score which is not same in, in, any, in any of the subject in at least one subject if their score is different then this will be a false i mean this will be a true only if all the three subjects marks are the same then we'll return false so for this it should be if true only then count gets incremented that is c gets incremented so when does when do we get a true we get a true when <coughs> so what does c capture it will not capture this this will give you false right here in at least having equal marks in at least one subject no this is also false now we are left out with b and c 
number of pairs of students not having equal marks in at least one of subjects option b is the correct answer right because let us say if they have the same marks in mathematics and uh, physics and chemistry let us say it is 90 in chemistry 91 physics whereas in mathematics he scored 85 and she scored 86 then it is not going to false right it is coming to true so b is the correct answer here